In layman's term, it's really easy to say uh, how students learn, diba? But in the context of of uh, of your course, which is MEIE, wherein part of the subjects yung audiovisual aids and devices, may mga rationale or principles behind, diba? For example, uh, before in a uh, in a traditional setting, when we say uh, 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 that a student is intelligent or bright or sinasabing matalino, um, is, it is measured by exams, di ba? Mga objective type, mga quizzes. Uh, another thing pa is when, uh, uh, for example, recitation. If the student speaks fluently in, ling- in English or can di ba, deliver uh, his, uh, his answers well, parang sa- ma- sasabihin, di ba, ng mga, uh, mga traditional teachers, ay, matalino tong bata to. Di ba? Even, di ba, sa way of our nurturing as parents, way of our, way of our nurturing children, akala kasi uh, at, 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 a, at a very young age, teaching our your students to speak English, di ba, is, is parang a way uh, sa determinate na matalino yung bata mo. Uh, good. That was, okay, before. Now that we have the, we have now the mother tongue, di ba, mother tongue base or yung di ba yung ating uh, vernacular natin is it is it is being introduced in the uh, curriculum sa 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 basic education di ba um i have a niece who's really fluent in english di ba um, ang mga bata ngayon mga kuno ang gagaling na magsalita uh, sa sa lingwahe ng english because of di ba ito yung sinasabi kong uh, youtube academy Thankful sila because of the YouTube Academy. Di ba? Yung Coco Melon, yung mga Peppa Pig, di ba? Yung mga videos na na... Kaya yung mga pamangkin ko, ang galing mag-English. Di ba? Ang, ang kawa nila. Uh, uh, they, they speak fluently. Uh, and they are well-versed sa paggamit ng technology. They're very uh, knowledgeable, versed, sa so ganyan. Uh, I have a niece, uh, at siguro nasa 3 or 4 siya. Uh, uh, he, she can easily manipulate or use the mobile phone. Diba? Nakakapag-access na siya ng, ng tawag dito, ng YouTube, ng mga games. Napakagaling sa mga, sa mga, ganyan, mga apps and devices. I remember yung, uh, yung kapatid ko, diba? yung kapatid kong babae, may, uh, yung anak niya, uh, minsan, um, nalingap lang siya, kinukuha yung cellphone. Tapos may pumupuntang uh, parang ano yun? Uh, Lazada or Shopee. <laughs> may in-order ng mga laruan. The following weeks or days na nagtataka yung nagtataka yung uh, yung nanay bakit nag-order ng mga ganitong laruan na hindi naman niya kailangan. Yun pala, she found out na yung anak niya marunong, marunong na mag, uh, mag on, uh, pumili through online. So, so if uh, piece of advice, uh, kindly uh, put a security picture sa inyong mga gadgets and devices. Diba? Uh, even yung mga, even yung mga, pag mayroon kayong mga data dyan, mga uh, uh, ginagamit diba, sa ating trabaho, minsan napapakailaman ng mga, yung mga anak natin or diba, pamangkin. So, uh, this is what uh, I'm saying. That's why, um, uh, the, the reason why I are here, uh, we are here, because we want to uh, improve our delivery of instructions. Because uh, it's very timely and relevant that ICT or IT or information communication in technology or instructional technology plays a vital role in the delivery of instructions. Lahat naman tayo gumagamit ng technology ngayon, ba? And it's a good uh, it's a good point that uh, you are studying this course para at least to add you with uh, with new knowledge and information about the race, recent trends and yung mga apps or softwares na ginagamit ko, uh, ginagamit din ninyo. Parang, because as I've said, this uh, is your avenue uh, for sharing new trends sa technology, new concepts, what's, what's the latest and what's uh, what's what is the development sa ating field of profession which is teaching because our common denomin- denominator here is talagang we are active sa ating uh, kasi ang profession natin is nasa education or we are 
in the academy. Okay? Um, uh, uh, if I'm going to share you what is uh, happening in our school, currently, uh, most of us are busy uh, because uh, the MEIE, at the same time, uh, the BTB TED uh, department, through the help of our uh, diligent and dynamic uh, pro program advisor in the department chair, Professor Kellya is, uh, we are preparing for the upcoming accreditation. I think, di ba, sa inyo naman nata, you undergo this process. Tama po ba? May mga accrediting agency ba kayo? Sir, ma'am? Tama po ba? I think iba din sa private ata, Sir Jeff. Yes po. Di ba? Iba, eh, tama yes, ba? Pakukawa ba sa inyo? Yes po, sir. Or paas po? Paas ko po, sir. Okay. Paas ko. So, yung kuhan nyo ba? Anong, sa department po, anong level na po ba kayo, sir? Sa amin, sir, nasa level 3 pa lang and applying for, ay, level 2, applying for level 3. Hmm. Pre-accreditation. So, ang sked nyo, sir, di ba every 3 years yan? So, na, 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 na kuhan nyo na ba yung kuhan? Yung level 3? Hindi pa? Hindi pa po. Planning pa lang po. This year po, nag-apply kami ka, so wala daw na mangyayaring accreditation this year because of the pandemic. Okay. Buti sa inyo. Sa amin kasi, mm -hmm. mag-pandemic ko wala. Uh, tuloy, ang, uh -huh. tuloy ang kita. Ay, joke lang. <laughs> tuloy, <laughs> kasi yung mga accreditors, kailangan kumita eh. Kailangan nila. <laughs> I, I wonder, uh, kahit pandemic, uh, nakaschedule na kami, nakasalang na kami this March. Maybe by March, uh, yung, yung mga professors ninyo sa MIA, uh, kahit, hindi, kahit hindi pa nila sinasabi, magiging busy sila uh, as because uh, we'll be we'll undergo a four-day uh, accreditation uh, this coming March. I, uh, I forgot the, uh, the schedule. Okay? Kailangan kasi i-accredit yung isang institution just to determine na capable ba yung school namin, yung program namin na magturo ng ganitong courses kasi kailangan natin ng third party na magsasabi na ang ating school is performing well. Okay. It's a good thing naman. At saka, uh, maganda sa employment kapag you have a diploma or or record na it, it is ISO accredited or meron siyang degree or uh, level. I mean, uh, proud to say ng ating MAIE department or course is nasa level 4. Okay? Yan, yan sa kasampi na kahayes. Pero may mga leveling siya or stage. We will be uh, level MA4 tayo. Um, um, pag napas natin yung phase 2, uh, mag-grant sa amin. So, maganda yung profile ng school kapag meron siyang it undergo um, a series of accreditation. Kagaya ng AAKO. Okay? So, pakita ko muna pala sa inyo yung ating syllabus kasi that last meeting, uh, uh, yung time natin is napaka-limited. Uh, uh, hindi ko na-grass o masyado yung ating kotetang syllabus. So, I have to share. Saan nga yun? Mm -hmm. Teka lang muna. And I remember last week, wala kami sa school. Uh, we were, we were being, um, uh, pumunta kami sa Miris Beris. Uh, that is somewhere in Santo Domingo. Ang ganda ng place. Uh, Miris Beris Nature and Garden. Kung sa mga artista may tinatawag na lock-in taping, kami naman is lock-in accreditation. So, para makapaggawa kami ng narrative. Kasi iba kasi yung um, preparation kapag nasa level 1, 2, 3 ka eh. Pag level 4, uh, you have to write a narrative. So, parang a profile. Parang gagawa ka ng isang, uh, kumbaga sa research, parang manuscript. Uh, parang I write up about the profile of the school, the background, and then, kasi it has 5 academic uh, areas. Okay? Uh, at least, uh, to give you an idea, kung ano ba ang nasa, kapag nasa tertiary level ka, kapag nasa uh, university ka. Naakala kasi nila, ang ginagawa lang namin is purely instruction. Uh, well, in fact, in reality, we perform other clerical tasks. And some of us have assignments and designations. 
So, we are really busy and talagang tiring at the same time, fulfilling naman na nasa university kayo, nagagawa mo yung, um, yung responsibility mo as, a, as an academician. Okay? So, ito yung content ng ating um, teka, syllabus. So, I have to share what's in the syllabus. And by the way, class, ano, uh, I'll inform you in advance that uh, next meeting po, uh, we will not uh, be having our sync meeting. Okay, I think I'm lost. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me, Po? Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, yes, yes, sir. I'm having internet problems right now. Salamat, DCTV. Napakatay. Ang galing ng timing. Okay, so, um, try to open again. Uh, based sa aking Google Meet, I am experiencing internet problems. Maybe yung data ko ngayon is parang nasa 5 MB. Medyo mabagal. Sinek ko yung aking internet speed. So, as usual, yung DCTV natin. Okay.
Hola. Uy, por mal. Ok. I'm back. So, I'll share to you the content of our syllabus. Share. Iba ang ating syllabus. Nakikita po ba? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, po. So, ito ang ating... Pero, maliit po. Hindi po namin mabasa. Pero nakikita namin yung presentation niya po. Okay. So, adjust natin ng konti, ha? Please, uh, spare with me. How about this one? Is it clear already? Yes, sir. So, yung ating course is IE212, which is the production of audio, visual aids, and devices. Yung itong course na to is a prerequisite. Okay, when you say prerequisite, uh, I, not actually, uh, it's a continuation pala, I'm sorry. Yung prerequisite is for undergrad eh. Um, to better appreciate and understand this course, uh, you have to take first yung IE211 which is the principles and techniques of audio visual education. Um, um, wherein some of your classmates already took this uh, subject or course last time. So, um, ito yung ating institutional learning outcomes, web 4. And ito yung ating naman, um, program learning outcomes ng MEIE, which is the managerial and leadership skills, uh, the competency and undertaking and meaningful research in industrial education. And the third is motivate and competence in community, uh, motivation and competence in community involvement and other outreach activities, which involves transfer of use usable and environment friendly technology. So, ano ba tong um, MEIE 212 course? Uh, this um, course uh, deals with the designing. Kung sa MEIE 211, pinag-aralan natin yung principles. Kaya, from the title niya eh. Principles and Techniques. Here, gagawa kayo. Out of the theories, concepts, principles that you gathered, acquired, from the previous um, um, audiovisual education na course, this time, you're going to design, prepare, and produce your own audiovisual uh, aids and devices or sinasabi natin uh, TLM or Teaching Learning Materials. Or, in other words, sa madaling sabi, ito yung sinasabi natin mga instructional materials. Uh, it involves an understanding of the techniques and procedures and using instructional aids and devices being developed. So, itong gagawin ninyong um, IM, it could be a printed or non-print. It could be, uh, uh, for example, a module. Um, uh, your own. It could be a prototype na gina or an instructional device na pwedeng gamitin sa mga tinuturo inyong mga subjects. So, ito yung course na to. Yung natutunan ninyo sa sa 211, i-apply nyo po siya. You're going to apply it uh, based sa gagawin ninyong instructional materials. Okay? By the way, can you still hear me, class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Apo, yes, sir. Apo, yes, ito po yung ating learning outcomes. When we say learning outcomes, ito yung magiging um, output. O what are the, ito yung magiging ating, ito, ito po yung magiging measure natin. Kung ano po yung mga matutunan ninyo once you are through with this course. Okay, demonstrate uh, a principled and deep understanding sa kung ano ba ang kinapapalooban ng audiovisual aids and devices na ginagamit natin sa pagtuturo. Second is to develop or manifest technical competence in identifying and creating ways of using technology for instruction sa ating classroom. And the third is to demonstrate appropriate skills and learn concepts on the ethical principles and importance of intellectual, intellectual property in relation to educational aids and devices. Kasi once you develop your own uh, your own um, learning material or instructional material dito 
matutunan ninyo ang principles ng IP o the intellectual property. How are your ideas, concepts will be protected? Diba? Kasi, hindi po sapat na may idea ka na, na pwede ng uh, copy and adapt ng iba. Lalong-lalo na sa field namin, sa, sa, sa academy natin. Dapat, um, yung ideas mo is concept, is kailangan mo na mapatent, kailangan mo na makapiray. And, uh, to give you advice, pwede siya magamit sa promotion. Diba? Pwede siya magamit sa, uh, uh, it could be, uh, it could be your, your idea, your, your material na, <coughs> excuse me, na na-develop. Um, pwede siyang uh, ma-commercialize o magamit in the near future. Diba? Kagaya na kagaya ng kagaya ng aking technology na ginawa uh, once uh, I receive the uh, I, 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 I once I uh, I receive the patent or granted me the the I uh, I will look for investors or someone who is interested with my technology para bilhin it And maybe who knows magkaroon tayo ng uh, royal for that or parang uh, certain percentage. And pwede natin siya. Uh, uh, a bright future also awaits kapag nakapag-develop, nakapag-develop ka ng technology. And, but hindi yun yung pinaka-goal natin. Uh, our aim is to develop an instructional material, a device to address sa ating uh, present educational problems. Okay? Keep this in mind, ano? Uh, the reason why you develop materials is not not to monetize or to convert it into cash but you are doing this technology just like what i uh, what what i would like to inculcate my students in research na uh, you're 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 doing this, these things to um, because there is uh, an because there is a need uh, your goal is to solve a particular problem diba? Uh, especially when it comes to ating uh, educational system. Okay. That's the that's the that's the main point why you are studying this course. Okay? You want to develop, you want to innovate learning materials or teaching learning materials to address present educational problems. So that that is why we are studying this learning outcome. Kagaya ng research. Diba? Apparently there are group there were uh, to share you something ano there were a group of students in um, in Manila, uh, mga engineering students sila. Yeah, to be specific, uh, that was in TUP or Mapua. Uh, they developed a bicycle na uh, na, 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 na makakatulong. Diba? Yung, yung, yung bicycle na yun, uh, may tatlong gulong sa likod na may, may, may mechanism doon na nag-harvest or nag, nagko-collect ng mga waste sa mga roads, sa mga mga main road na makakatulong to address or alleviate problems natin about pollution. Kasi 'di ba, yung ating mga, 'di ba, garbage, mga mga these materials, waste are nasa uh, talagang rampat na, na nangyayari sa atin. So, there were a group of me- mechanical engineering students uh, uh, based on their experience and observation kapag nagko-commit sila nakikita rin yung mga basura sa kalye and hindi sapat yung mga community uh, yung parang um, yung mga utility or in charge sa streets to clean street sweepers uh, to to maintain the kasi ang lawak ng di ba ang lawak ng Manila eh, ng area na doon so one way is to develop a technology na makakatulong to minimize to napaka simple siya pero yung once na Kasi it's a working prototype eh. Kaya prototype siya. Hindi pa siya uh, something na fully a product na pwede niyong gawin. Na, na, pwede, na, na pwedeng i-develop at, at ma-apply sa city. So, kagaya din sa atin, ano ba yung mga present problems na encounter natin sa education? Lalong-lalo na uh, kami as uh, BU, we are mandated to apply or adopt the flexible learning modality. Sa flexible learning modality, may two methods tayo or two types. Yung synchronous and asynchronous. So, uh, yeah. Yan ang everyday struggle ng mga estudyante kapag nag online sila. So, yan. Those are the problems that we are experiencing. 
na pwede nating maging basis kasi to come up with a research, to come up with a technology, to come up with an idea, there should be an, an existing problem. And there are there are ways on how to solve a problem. But it goes uh, a certain process. Uh, maybe kayo, meron kayong mga strategy or ways on how to cope or deal with the problem at the same time, find solutions for that problem. Okay. Uh, I would like you to share the design thinking process. I know some of you here meron ng idea or background behind. But for those who, da- who don't have or would like to refresh their minds and para ma- 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 re- ma-refresh sa kanilang memory, sa subject na to pag-aaralan natin yung design thinking. Kasi, magkakamap kayo ng instructional materials ng, new, ng technology sa classroom using the design thinking process. Meron siyang five uh, stages na, da- na pagdadaanan. Na uh, pwede nyo siyang gamitin kasi yung mga instructional developers, yung mga academicians, yung mga engineers adhere to this uh, uh, to this uh, to this concept. Maraming mga problem solving uh, methods or techniques na ginagamit. Uh, but this is the common, this is the most common one na ginagamit ng mga designers, na mga ginagamit ng mga uh, uh, mga uh, mga instructional developers to, to those who are involved in the uh, academe uh, to address the issues or problems. Okay, so, ito po yung ating gagamitin sa ating klase. So, um, these are, uh, this is the course outline presented in matrix form um, na, um, contains the topics, yung specific learning outcomes, yung time allotment, yung mga assessment, mode of assessment natin, and is, instructional resources. So, unang-unang topic natin is about the BU, Vision, Mission, and Institutional College and Learning Outcomes. And aside from that, you present ko din yung ating, yeah, what I'm doing now is part of the first topic natin. I am presenting you the course syllabus and last meeting yung course guide. Okay? And the other topic is creative ways of using instructional technology. So, ano ba yung mga strategy ninyo or uh, scheme ninyo kapag nagtuturo tayo? Or, for those who are not yet in the field of teaching, ano ba yung mga naalala nyo um, ginagawa ng mga teachers or professors ninyo kapag nagde-deliver sila ng instruction? Ano ba yung mga, uh, mga ginagamit nilang uh, instructional device or, or material? Uh, to to smoothly facilitate the teaching learning sa classroom natin. And I already posted there yung ating uh, uh, topics about creative ways. And then, meron, meron kayo dyang learning tasks. By the way, yung mga bago sa klase ko, let me remind you, uh, um, yung one of the uh, primary requirements ko is to uh, kindly accomplish lahat ng mga activities, learning tasks, uh, uh, kung meron ako meaning reaction paper or integrative paper, kasi yun ang aking basis on how will I give you grade. So, kindly complete po para hindi po tayo ma-INC. So, we're done with the introduction about the BMGO sa, as part of the topic. And the other one is about creative ways of using IT. Okay? So, the learning outcomes here is specific is to create, uh, demonstrate creative abilities to solve instructional technology problems. And part of the topic also is let us trace the early beginnings. Paano ba nagsimula yung mga instruction materials bago, lumo, ba, bago gumamit ng Jamboard, bago gumamit tayo ng Google Classroom? Ano ba yung mga ginagamit ng mga early teachers natin? sa pagtuturo. Diba? Common na yung books, common na, common na yung um, tawag dito, yung uh, chalkboard, pen and paper, but uh, part of my assignment pala, kasi uh, ay, naputo tayo last time, ay kanina, ano, sa, as I've said a while ago, uh, 
um, we will not meet next meeting because um, two uh, two candidates are will be having their uh, uh, research presentation or uh, title defense this coming sa Saturday uh, uh, dalawang estudyante po uh, MA candidates natin ang magkoconduct ng ng defense sa uh, advice ni uh, ni Sir ni Sir Dean or Sir Aroko so um, so ito yung assignment na ibibigay ko sa inyo is first um, trace the first teaching machines ano ba yung mga uh, at least identified mga five uh, mga materials or machines na ginamit sa pagtuturo maganda yung pag-aralan yung yung ginamit ni Pascal and Skinner uh, those are mga significant um, discoveries in technology na ginawa nila okay don't you know na merong ginagamit na machine sa paggawa uh, na sa parang before 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 may Google quiz or 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 forms na ginagamit sa atin. Merong ginagamit ng technology before. It's a machine na ginagamit sa pag-take ng exam. It's a multiple uh, ang setting is nasa ka multiple choice pero sa machine ka magsasagot. So can you look for that? Ang daming mga uh, mga te technology before na ginagamit sa pagtuturo. I think you are familiar with Abacus, right? Alam niyo po ba yung Abacus? Have you heard of it? Sir, ma'am? Hello? Are you still there? Yes po, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, have yes, you heard sir. of Abacus? Yes po. Yes po. Okay, di ba? Po. Okay. Trivia, saan ba, saan ba una, saan ba una uh, ginawa yung Abacus? Sino ba, sino pala nakadiscover nun? Do you have any idea? Chinese, sir. Okay. Based on books or references, diba? Chinese, diba? Kasi, diba, pag, pag Chinese kasi, uh, yung abacus, akala na ginagamit niya sa business, diba? Sa pag-compute, sa pag ng mga... Pero there are conflicting uh, reference or materials ng abacus, uh, hindi siya nag-originate sa China. It is somewhere in India. So, maganda ang pag-aralan nyo yan, kung saan ba nag-originate yung <laughs> kasi up to now, I'm still confused. Kasi I've read those materials na sabi daw sa China na kumpisa. Pero in some references or book, it's, it's in India. Uh, an abacus is an early form of calculator. Uh, ito yung kinagamit sa pag-compute. Okay? Pero there's another machine uh, na uh, after, after the abacus, parang calculator din siya. Pero... Uh, uh, hindi pa hindi siya kagaya ng ating uh, modern calculator na ngayon na may scientific na may mga easily can pero iba iba noon ang uh, way of compute so magandang eh, pag-aralan niyo muna reserve a throwback of what are the machines or technology na ginagamit sa classroom so assignment ko sa inyo no uh, please uh, select five technology na early for early early forms of teaching machines kung ano ba siya and saan siya ginagamit. Okay? Please, hindi tayo mag-meet next meeting. So, ito na yung highlight. Sir, can you please repeat po the select five? Um, teaching what? machines, ma'am. Don't worry, ma'am. Naka-record naman po siya. Pwede mo naman po balikan. Ah, okay. Noted. Thank you. Okay po. So, ulitin ko po, ma'am, for emphasis uh, na you have to research at least five, five teaching machines or technology. So, parang magkakaroon tayo ng ready dissertation. Kung sino po yung matawag natin, si may gagamitin akong app naman na pang, uh, pang select. Hindi siya uh, parang randomizer kung sino yung mag-represent uh, ng kanilang output next meeting. Okay? So, just prepare your assignment. So, let's go back. Um, ito yung design thinking. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes po. Uh, yes po, sir. Paano sir kung halimbawa natawag tapos nagkaroon po ng duplication doon sa un nauna kong natawag? Okay lang yun sir? Kung... Apo. Kasi sir, di Kasi hindi. Apo, apo. Hindi naman namin yung intent na magkopyahan. <laughs> Naintindan ko sir. Kaya di ba, if you can still remember, lima. Okay, lima. Okay. okay. The better is if you're going to dig deeper kasi ang daming mga teaching machines. Uh, so stop at isip ka ng rare. Yes, ma'am. Uh, nung Reyna, ah, I, I am not 
familiar into this. Kasi diba, commonly, yung mga traditional, diba, is yung books, yung pro- opac projectors, yung, diba, alam ko may sasagot ng mga ganyan eh. Pero, meron pa na still na only few uh, are familiar to this uh, na mga technology. For example, sandbox. Have you heard of sandbox? Sir? Uh, parang ginamit na yun, sir, sa, mga, sa elementary. Okay. Yung sandbox po. Pero some, some of them are not familiar with sandbox. Okay. So, good thing. Uh, so, it, it, that could be a, a good example. Diba? Na pwede niyong i-discuss. So, bala na kung sinong tawagin mag ng sandbox. <laughs> Sige, sir. Okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Yan po baga lima. Oh, sa lima na yan, uh, baka, baka mayroon ka dyan na uh, diba? at least uh, na rare or hindi pa alam ng mga ibang uh, colleagues mo. Okay. Sige po. So, balik tayo. Sana ulit. Uh, sa design thinking. Sa design thinking, pag-aaralan nyo kung ano ba to. Uh, pero, ginagamit kasi ang design thinking sa pag-create ng product, pangka, sa pag-develop ng panibagong technology. Lahat ng profession, pwede nyo i-apply itong principle na to. And I know, after, after learning this course, Siguro ang tatatak sa isip niyo sa subject na to is the design thinking. You were able to come up with a technology, you were able to come up with a material, you were able to come up with a machine because you add here or you apply this kind of design thinking principle. So, isa sa mga activity ko dito is it would be forming in groups. Okay? We have to come up a common uh, a common de- denominator, being to say a common problem sa inyong field of work na pwede nyong gawa ng solusyon. Okay? Huwag, hindi kayo makaka-arrive, madaling masabihin na itong dapat solusyon. But you need to undergo a step-by-step process using this principle. And once na-appreciate nyo na and ending tiyan nyo na by this simple activity, gagawa na kayo ng sarili ninyong um, technology or material using this design thinking process. So, Para maitindihan ninyo, since we are into, uh, um, since, since ang course na to is, napaka, is self-paced, ang approach, hindi po kasi ako sanay sa spoon feeding eh, since most of us are, pro- are professionals here. So, you have to research, ano bang ba design thinking? Actually, meron siyang five process eh. Diba? Um, pero, once you know the design thinking process, i-apply nyo siya. So you will be creating, in, you will be forming in groups, and you will going to solve a particular problem using that one. And after you presented it, gagawa din kayo ng sarili yung uh, technology or material or problem na bibigay yun ng solution. Uh, let's say by coming up with an instructional material or a classroom management strategy, and you present niyo yan sa klase. Yun po ang magiging requirement niyo sa course na to. Naintindihan po ba, sir, ma'am? Do I need yes, to... yes, sir. Yes, I... okay, so... yes, po, sir. So, I don't need to elaborate further. Ano? So, yan po ang magiging requirement natin. Kasi, di ba, sa... sa ating previous course, pinag-aralan natin. Di ba? You, we had a... You, we dig deeper on the principles and theories and concepts about instructional device in technology by, but by this time based on the theory you will put it into practice meaning to say application na po yung gagawin natin kaya good thing kila sir Jaben kila kila Miss Gabito kila kila sir Rilayu, Rilayuyo these are these are my students sa MA211 so meron silang idea kung paano nila gagawin Okay. Dapat meron kayong sinasabi nating theoretical or uh, underlying um, un- uh, or theoretical underpinnings or meron kayong pinakugutan nito sa magaling sabi. Before you come up with this kind of technology or or material. Okay? So, eto. You can come up with a game. Diba? Kasi uh, sa classroom management, pwede kayong gumamit or mag-develop ng game. It could be a digital, it could be in a 
Halimbawa, uh, may tinatawag tayong gamification and education. Ito yung mga recent trends and development or a possible strategies or intervention para mas matuto yung mga estudyante. Kasi hindi naman hindi man ibig sabihin na pag nagi games meron siyang meron siyang uh, ang, ang dulot niya is uh, negative uh, effects sa estudyante. I myself I, I consider myself I I'm into games. But uh, hindi ako but I I manage to control kasi I'm in the profession and I'm I'm in the teaching profession. Pero actually sa akin ang games nakatulong sa akin para uh, so I I in uh, para ka in hand coordination uh, at the same time nakakapag uh, develop ako ng mga topics sa totoo lang. Habang naglalaro ako I can um, come up with a topic, an activity or pag may mga pinapagawa sa akin yung mga tasks yung mga boss ko, parang way to uh, parang pleasure siya sa akin but at the same time nakakapag um, recharge ako o nakakakama pa ako ng idea because of uh, of games. I don't know if 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 the others will agree but for me Ang games kasi is may may positive impact yan eh. Diba? Sa sa estudyante. And don't you know, ang mga successful na um, persons ngayon is because of the trend ng, di ba, ng technology ngayon is marami ang kumikita dahil lang sa online games. Okay? Hindi hindi because of pustahan or ano ano uh, um, yeah, uh, and don't you know mga Pilipinos ngayon is oh, we they are known worldwide because of online games kagaya ng uh, diba? and um, and sometimes uh, may games kasi na tinatawag na earn to play pag sinasabing earn to play hindi ka lang naglalaro you are uh, I think you are familiar with diba? nasabi ko na to sa mga estudyante sa mga students ko before sa IE211 yung Axie Infinity before trending siya eh Ngayon na medyo bumaba yung SLP kasi um, to give you an idea for those who are not familiar with it ang ang this type of games kasi you are earning money. Ang gagawin mo lang is to level up the character and may mga earn kang mga mga material or tawag doon mga uh, tapos pag once na yung character niya nag-level up na siya, pwede mo siyang ibenta. with a high market value. But depende sa, kasi, para din siyang investment eh. Uh, if you are familiar with cryptocurrency. Okay. Ang daming mga apps or software ngayon na, uh, di ba, parang form siya ng, anong tawag dito? Um, anong, teka, hanapin ko muna. Parang investment siya na bibili ka ng mga items, tapos, pag once na, depende sa, sa market value niya uh, pag tumaas yung 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 ganitong product na to pwede mo siyang ibenta parang it's it's a form of investment and i know people i know some na nakapagbent nakapa, nakabili ng kotse ng ng bagong bahay because of uh, games okay and may tinata- may tinatawag naman tayong cryptocurrency okay and sa madaling sabi Um, ang ang technology ngayon um, pwedeng pagkakitaan. Example, yung ating mga sikat na YouTubers or bloggers or social media influencers na na mention ko to before that they are earning six digits a month or more. Di ba? Mga nagti-TikTok, di ba? Though pabiro-biro lang siya, but meron pera dito. Di ba? Mag 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 Uh, minsan mag-isip ko ng kwenta walang kwentang topic pero uh, kilala ka na sa YouTube industry or sa kwan uh, by means of views by means of likes yung likes na yon yung views na yon can be monetized so that's the time ngayon eh uh, many uh, many YouTubers are rich they can have what they want because of what they earn sa kanilang mga uh, social media accounts okay So going back, um ito yung teka, saan ba tayo? Uh, ito yung pag-aaralan natin. Maybe you can develop a your own uh, game, you can build toys and mock-ups. Ito yung mga ginagamit natin sa pagtuturo. This this could be a functional or non-functional mock-up. Halimbawa, sa case ko sa si electronics, uh, uh, my students wants to know how does a soldering iron works. So 
Yung ginawa ko is binaklas ko yung mga parts ng soldering iron. Ito yung heating element, ito yung ito yung tip para ma-appreciate nila. So pwede kayong kumagamap ng ganyan. But develop aside from the prototype kung gagawa kayo ng ganyan or if you want to let's say some of you would like to come up with a mock-up. Okay? Aside from the mock-up that you're going to develop, alagyan siya ng write-up. So ano ba yung mock-up na, na yun? Ano yung mga learning activities? And what subjects pwede siyang i-integrate? So at least, the reason why we are doing this is simply because not just a requirement sa subject ko, but also, itong gagawin yung technology or material is gagamitin ninyo sa pagtuturo. And I know there are still uh, uh, more opportunities na pwede nyo gamitin. Okay? I understand na nasa pandemic tayo. I'm not expecting na ganito ka uh, ka detail ka ganito ka ka, ka, uh, ka intricate yung ginawa ninyong mga material. Okay, my point here is something na uh, kumbaga nasa inyo pa rin yung bola. So you you you, you uh, pa rin ang magde-decide kung anong gagawin ninyong material para sa para gagamitin sa pagklase na isusubmit niyo sa akin. So think, uh, think and decide kung ano bang gagawin ninyo, technology or material. Let's say a game, let's say a mock-up, let's say a module, let's say uh, a... So anything that you would like to share or, or, or adapt or apply sa, sa field of work ninyo. Okay? So another topic is ito. So I want yung gagawin yung technology... Yung gagawin yung, yung idea na nasa isip ninyo, it should be protected. Kasi, maybe in the future, balak nyo siyang ibenta, maybe in the future, balak nyo siya i-commercialize, or class, pwede yung gagawin yung technology, pwede yung gawing research in the future. Diba? Who knows? At the same time, nakagawa ka ng technology, nakakamap ka ng idea, pagdating ng research, Pwede nyo siyang i-propose that you want to come up a, a instructional device or a material. Para at least this is your uh, in preparation for your possible uh, research study. Okay? So, and kasama na po yan yung patents, utility models. These are your designs na pwede nyo siyang, uh, it needs to be protected. And this can be patented. Industrial designs, trademarks, and copyrights. And... Gagamit tayo ng, uh, ng, uh, ng engine tool for patent search searching. Uh, I'll talk to Ms. Saira, uh, one of the uh, staff sa uh, IPMD, sa uh, Intellectual Property Management Division, kung paano. Kasi madaling mag-come up ng idea. But are you sure na yung idea mo or technology mo is hindi pa ginagamit or available na ba sa market? Kasi, for students who are taking MEIE, Instructional Technology Major, hindi po madali mag-come up ng uh, acceptable research or feasible uh, type of research kapag ang naisip yung technology is available na sa market. One of the characteristics of a good research study class is novelty. It should be unique. It should be uh, with ingenuity. Kaya, um, um, unique, original, sa madaling sabi. Kasi kung may, sir, how about, uh, may kaparehas na po siya, pero iba yung design niya. Iba yung, funny, yung, yung process niya. May tinatawag tayong uh, utility model. Okay. Okay. Though existing yung technology mo, pwede mo siyang i-modify. Okay. Pwede mo siyang i-modify or addition, add, dagdaga ng additional feature or a combination. Halimbawa, um, example ko lang yung sa field ko, ha, sa electronics. Ang ginagamit namin sa, sa mga project namin sa paggawa ng mga circuits is yung soldering iron uh, na na-mention ko kanina. And gusto kong gumawa ng technology, gusto kong i-improve yung soldering iron. I know meron, 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 I know meron ng existing technology nito, but for the purpose of sharing lang. So, pwede natin i-combine yung pan na insert doon or sa isang uh, sa, sa sa iron para kasi the the soldering iron uh, releases fumes or smokes 
which according to study, it's not good sa ating respiratory. So, pwede ka mag-come up ng technology na pwedeng uh, asada ng iron na hindi nag-release ng fumes or yung fumes niya hindi nagpumupunta directly sa ating baga. So, ganun. Uh, do, may, do alam natin, existing na yung soldering iron, but meron tayong dinagdag na feature, may dinagdag, may dinagdag tayong, or may bina, minodify natin yung design, pwede siyang ipasok natin sa, uh, sa utility model. Okay? So, yun. So, uh, yun ang ating pag-aaralan sa course na to. So, andito yung prototype development, wherein, uh, ito na yung uh, the nitty-gritty part. Kung gagawa kayo ng module, ano ba yung content ng module ninyo? Ano ba yung topic ng module ninyo? Uh, yung module ninyo ba, inadapt nyo lang sa isang, sa, isang, sa isang previous module? So, dapat, di ba? The keyword is novelty. It should be original. It should be your own. Pwede din kayo kumuha ng mga sample, uh, mechanics or, or process or, or concepts, but it should be properly cited and you you should put that in writing kasi uh, for for respect naman po sa original na gumawa nung uh, na, ng 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 definition na yon okay so it should be properly cited okay so another um topic is about preparation and documentation okay so gagawa kayo ng project scope so, I will be giving a template. So, ito yung i-present ninyo sa ating uh, last, sa, uh, last meeting natin sa klase. So, at this point in time, isip na kayo. Okay. Kasi last, last meeting, we, I injected you, we, we discussed, pinag-aralan natin yung mga iba-ibang theories and principles. But, but this time, output-based na tayo or outcomes-based. Yung mga natutunan ninyo, Pero, to those uh, students na bago sa akin, don't worry, i-guide ko naman po kayo. Okay. Magkakaroon naman tayo ng consultation or a uh, a, uh, uh, a day na magmi-meeting tayo uh, for the purpose of uh, clarifications, inquiries, so uh, problems nila sa gagawin nilang material or device or technology. Okay. Uh, this time kasi class, hindi naman uh, regularly na yung ating synchronous meeting. The reason is, the reason for that is to give you enough time. Kasi sa totoo lang, hindi po madali gumawa ng technology. Buti buti ko ang trabaho mo lang is you're a full-time student. Alam na alam ko naman po may mga trabaho kayo. And alam ko may mga special assignments and tasks kayo. Kaya ngayon pa lang ini-inform ko na kayo na yun po ang gagawin natin. Yun po ang magiging requirement ko after the end of the sem. Okay po. So, yung, yung gagawin nyo ba, unang-una, kaya nyo bang gawin? Pangalawa, does it suit sa time ko? Kaya ba ng oras ko? Third, if, if gagawa ako ng technology or prototype, uh, kaya ba ng budget? Or, kumbaga, kaya ba ng, 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 ng budget ko para gawin yun? Uh, kung pang-apat, yung gagawin ko bang technology? Uh, is it available, yung mga materials niya available sa market? I-clear ko lang ha, it's up to you. If you're going to come up with a technology, if you're going to come up with a prototype, wala pong problema sa akin. Yung ayaw po, wala pong problema. Pwede mag-come up ng module, pwede mag-come up ng other instruction materials, di ba? Uh, kagaya ng course guide, kagaya ng uh, activity sheets or workbooks, mga ganun. Okay, na ginagamit nyo sa pagtuturo. Na sa tingin nyo, ito yung mga concerns or kulang namin na kailangan namin ibigay. Diba? Kasi uh, all of us naman, di ba, na-experience natin na there is a, an inadequacy of facilities, there is uh, lacking materials na kailangan ituro kasi most of the materials na meron kami, hindi naman related or suited sa subject na tinuturo namin. Tama po ba? Sir, ma'am? Sir, agree po. <laughs> Apo. Okay. At the same time, win-win situation tayo. Win-win kasi sa akin, may meron kayong output. Win win sa part niyo kasi meron kayong technology na magagamit niyo sa classroom. Eh hindi lang 'yan. Kung yan si Dido kamo, pwede siya gawing research. Diba? 
Or if not, pwede nyo siya ipa-copyright and ipapatent and pwede nyo siya ipagbili. Pwede nyo siya ipa- o ba, gumawa kayo ng libro or, or a module or a material, pwede nyo siyang ipublish. Kahit a 10 page siya, 12 page, pwede nyo pwede po. Diba? So, yun po ang ating content ng ating uh, course outline. So, ito yung ating uh, uh, ex, uh, requirements, midterm and final. Actually, pag-isipan ko pa. Okay. Um, pwedeng itong midterm and final, requirements na lang po ito. Okay. Pero may na akong mga activities, reflection, integrated reports na kailangan ko din po as form part of giving grades. Itong okay. video presentation class, halimbawa, yung final presentation ng ating output, is araw kayo ng schedule. However, hindi ka makaka-attend because meron kang uh, seminar, may, may iba kang activities, may important may importante kang adunan or something. So, pwede mo siya i-pre-record na lang at saka i-send mo sa akin yung output mo. So, ito yung aking um, breakdown ng grade. Particip Kaya importante sa akin yung synchronous kasi 40% dito is class participation. Okay, term. But, Sa context ngayon ng um, IE212, uh, as much as possible, kapag may activity ako, hindi ko, hindi, I'm not, hindi, hindi ako nagko-conduct ng synchronous regularly. Kasi outcomes-based na po ito eh. Unlike nung last SEM, uh, we conduct synchronous class regularly. Kasi para at least, uh, matutunan nila kung ano ba yung mga, uh, yung mga theories, yung principles dito sa MA211. Okay? So, yan po ang aking system of grades and that is the content of my course syllabus. Do you have any questions, clarifications po, reaction, kahit violet, okay lang. Class? Is it clear to you? May questions po ba? Uh, clarifications regarding sa ating course syllabus? Anyone? Anybody? Hi, Sir Vic. <laughs> May ito naka-enroll ka, Sir Vic. Nakahabol ka ba ka? Uh, your audio. Wala ka ata, Sir Audio. I can't hear you. Sige. Okay. Okay. For my students sa uh, MA211, uh, natutunan ninyo yung isa sa mga topics about multiple intelligence, right? And sa multiple intelligence, um, it implicates that ang tali ta, ang urag ta, iba-iba man. Bako lang matibay ka mag-English, mat matali ka na. It doesn't mean to say that you know how to speak English fluently, or intelligent. Take note ha. English is not a measure of intelligence. Okay? And, and, um, parang discriminating, eh? if you got, if you always pass the exam, the quiz, diba? may mga estudyante naka-depende or rely on rote learning. When you say rote learning class, it pertains to memorization. Actually, when I was a student, ang galing ko sa, mag, mag, ang galing ko sa mga short quiz, mga exam. Kasi, Adali sa akin mag-process sa memory ko yung mga yung mga yung mga keywords, yung mga yung mga terms. Pero pag inapply ko sa totoong buhay, hindi ko man yan aram. Okay. So ang iba sa atin um, uh, hindi sila uh, verbal or not good in oral communication, but in terms of writing, ang ganda nila magsulat. Mas expressive sila sa writing. Ang iba naman, hindi magaling mag-recitation, pag, pero pag binigyan mo siya ng problem, let's say, troubleshooting nga niya, iki mga projects, iki mga circuits, or or other field nga niya, matitibay sinda. So, in other words, may pick-up kita, di ba, individual differences. And kita, we learn from, we are, there are certain ways on how we learn. I remember, yung sa mga activity ko last time is about, um, may ginagamit ng pag-test Kung what type of learner are you? Diba? And most of your feedback or reaction is karamihan sa inyo is our visual learners. Tama ba, Sir Berdine? 
ma- you appreciate lessons or topics kapag mayroong mga drawing, mayroong mga illustrations. Kasi when I was uh, young, ganun din ako. Uh, mas pini-prepare ko yung mga libro na sa DepEd na may mga drawing, may mga kaysa sa mga purely yung mga Polarante at Laura. Nauyam ko ka ng mga babasaw na yan kasi wala mga drawing. <laughs> kasi may mga libro ka ito, diba? Uh, uh, Susto mo ibara. <laughs> mga aruga yan. So, yun. Um, so, for this activity, um, I'll share to you a link. And, by the way, are you using your laptop or desktop? Class? Yes, Papa. Yes, sir. Okay, if you're losing your laptop, are you familiar with Jamboard? Opo, sir. Yes, po. Okay, so I'll send you the link. Yes, sir. Pa-access po ng Jamboard. Okay? So, let me know if you can already access the Jamboard. Okay, andyan na po yung link sa baba. Sir, paano po pag, ano lang, CP lang po yung gamit? Okay. Pag hindi mo na-access sa CP... Pwede kang maglagay ng comment dito sa comment section. Okay. Ano ba? May limang picture dyan. Sige, I'll give you the instructions later. Okay. Let me know po, class. You can raise your hand icon if you already access the Jamboard. Okay. Sige. Sige. Sino pa? Si Delgado lang ba naka-access? Si Ms. Cabahar? Si Ms. Calleja? Who else? So, kung nakikita na po yung, yung nasa Jamboard class, okay. yung unang picture natin, nakikita po ba? Yes, sir. Yes, po. Anong nasa picture? Logo po, sir. Logo. Okay. Logo ng? BU logo. Okay. BU po. Ngayon, sabi nindo, visual learners ka mo, right? Karamihan sa inyo. This I'm, pert- I'm pertaining to my uh, previous students. And also, I think dito naman sa inyo are, are mostly visual learners. Ngayon, i-adapt natin yung concept ni Howard Gardner about multiple intelligence. Okay. I want to know your own thoughts, your own perception, idea, kung anong nasa log. One word lang ha. Ilagay nyo lang one word. Um, Sir Berdin, yung Jamboard po nasa ating Google, ah, Google, nasa G, uh, Facebook group chat. Nakita mo, Sir Berdin? Okay, you can use... Nasa po, sir? Nasa group chat natin. Nasa GC natin. Sa baba. Okay, okay. sir. Check up. Sige. So, okay, ang gagawin nyo po, you can access the Google Jamboard. Pwede kayo dun sumulat. Di ba nakita yung Bitcoin University? Pag sinabing logo na yan, anong pumapasok sa isip na yun? Kaya isang word lang. No copy nga. You can type or write dyan sa Google Jamboard. For, but for those who are using their mobile phones, pero nakikita nila yung nasa Jamboard, you can put your answer tabi sa ating comment section sa ating Google Meet. Naintindihan po ba? Class, are you following? Class. Yes po, yes sir. Okay. Ako po sir. So, tagtutumins lang tayo, ano? Run, kung ano, pastok. <laughs> Biologo. Ano ba makapasok sa isip ninyo? And mamaya, tatanin ko kayo kung bakit yan ang nilagay ninyo. Sige? Sir, okay, sir. May comment na po ako. Apo. Yung iba po. Pwedeng gamitin nyo po yung type, yung matype ka mukhang text. Diba? Sige. Um, sige. Pag 2.17 po, ship na tayo sa next. So, palagay na po ng sagot. Habang may time. For those who cannot access the Jamboard, pwede po sa comment section tayo. Hmm, may excellence na po. May nauna na po, ma'am. Okay. Empowering. Wow. Wisdom. Okay. Sabi ni Sir Jaben. 
leadership, okay, symbol. Kunwari mga aspiring presidents presiden, presidentials ka ba no? <laughs> Pag sinabi mong B yung logo, anong lumabas sa isip mo? Okay. Nakasagot na ba lahat? Hello, people of the Philippines. Nakasagot na po ba lahat? If you're done po, pa-check ng ating raise an icon. Yes, sir, Abila. Do you have something to say? Okay na po, sir. Naka-comment na po ako. Okay. Using my CP po. Ah, pwede, sir. Nakaka-tsagaan eh. Pag-CP ang gamit eh. Pero okay. Opo, sir. Kaso yung picture, sir, matagal bago siya lumabas. Okay. To give you an idea, no? Yung nasa first picture is a BU, BU logo natin. Okay po. Ah, okay na po? Okay. Yung walang sagot, minus 5, ha? <laughs> Joke lang. Sige. Just enjoy this activity. Sige. Okay. First picture natin. No duplication po, ha? May doble dyan. Patingin po ulit ng sagot. May ulit-ulit dyan. Okay. Excellence. Excellency. Okay. Uh, Minagyan siya sa ining Bicolano University. Okay. Baka may, may hugot siya digde. Paano sir kapag galing po ang excellency tapos may excellence naman? Iba man. <laughs> Ibang excellency sa excellence. Okay. Nasabutan ka man yan. Okay. Pwede naman drawing. Di ba? May mga may pikapot kitang special learners or artistic learners. Ay may mga artistic learners tayo. Uh, they prepare to express their thoughts in a form of an art. Diba? Okay. Sige. Let's proceed to the next picture. Okay? Next picture na po tayo. Ano? Sige. Next. Pasagot po. Um... Feel free to share, to speak out, to eh, mag-negative or positive yan. Okay lang po. I will entertain your uh, your ideas or notion for that picture or image. So, sir, mat matagal siya, sir, mag-open. Ano, Anong picture po yun nandyan? Okay. Yung yung second picture po, uh, if nag-loading pa siya sa'yo. Ay, sir, are you using your data? Hindi po. Sa ano po, converge. Ah, okay. Yung second image, sir, uh, yung nakapaski lagi sa mga uh, universities sa BU, ay sa, sa mga schools. Ito yung vision mission ng, ah, okay. ng university po. Ay, Thank you, sir. Apo, I think nakita mo naman ko anong vision and mission ng BU. So, palagay po, okay. kahit ano, ano po yung naiisip natin pag nakikita natin yung... Okay, sige. Okay? Time's up. Next picture. Okay. Sige po. Mr. Abila, na nakikita mo yung nasa picture or nagloading pa? Nagloading pa, sir. Okay, yung basta meron nakita akong comment na master. Okay, yung sa yung sa next picture po sir is the Bicol University Graduate School logo. Logo. Yung logo ng bags. Okay. 
write anything, kahit anong nakikita nyo dyan or interpret nyo, isulat nyo lang po. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Next picture. Okay. Sometimes, ah, maganda sana, uh, you, you, you can take outside of the box. Ano ba yung nakikita nyo dyan? Na parang sa inyo, ibang yung meaning niya. Pwede din ganun. Mas may malalim pa kayong kalugan sa nakikita nyo yung picture. Okay, can the answer po? Karon nakalagay diyan sa picture. Galaw ko lang, naggalaw kasi kanina eh. Ayun. Sige. Are you done, class? Class, are you done po? Please let me know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. See you there. Okay. So next slide natin. Wala. Yeah. Okay, class. Are you done? Class, are you done po? Please let me know. Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Thank you. Help, sir. I think, sige, I think we're going since it's already two, sige, three minutes more.
Okay? Let's, okay, let's, let us see your output. Mm -hmm. Sige. Punta muna tayo sa uh, slide 1 or yung pinakauna kong pinakitang output. Okay. Sige. Class, can you still hear me? Sir, excuse me po. Yes. Nakamute po ata, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay na, sir. Okay. So, okay. Uh, as I've said po, I think that's enough. Let us proceed uh, with your output, uh, with your answers. Uh, and ask each one of you, why po yung, yan po ang sinagot natin. Sige, punta tayo sa unang uh, picture or image, the, um, the Beaker University logo or Beaker University. Okay, mayroong dalawa ditong naglagay ng independent. Okay, yung isa excellency, yung isa world class innovation. Sige. May I ask, sino po yung sumagot nito? Yung tinuturo ko po. Nakikita ko. Oh, ah, si Sir Big. Okay, Sir Big. May ano po your independent sir? Ah, edi po. Nakalagay dito, globally competitive. Who wrote this? Or ah, hindi po. Who, wrote, who type po globally competitive? Kasi hindi ko po makikita. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Ako po, sir. Ah, sir Henry. Uh, sir Mendez. Go yeah. ahead po, sir. Lagay niyan. Apo. Ah, ano pong ibig sabihin po nang nilagay natin, sir Henry? Uh, siguro sir naka-anchor doon sa ano ng Bicol University na yung graduate ay na mabuproduce ay go, globally competitive. Mm -hmm. Kaya yun po yung naisip ko na ilagay sa sa logo. So, ano pa sir? Ano pang maidadagdag natin? Bakit uh, aside from parang ang aim ng BU is to pro produce diba? a globally competitive graduate na um, na magiging uh, contributory sa economy, sa success ng ating uh, mga manggagawa or workers in the future. Ano pa sir, yung reason mo doon? Yun lang po ba? As, aside siguro sir sa ano, mm -hmm. uh, I think pwede, pwede mag-cater yung school ng mga exchange students para, mm -hmm. para maging mag in a way, magiging global community. Okay. Okay. Yun lang po, sir. Sige. Thank you, Sir Mendez. Actually, um, tama din yung sinabi ni sir, na even eh, sa, sa level ng estudyante, kasi one of the one of the goal ng BU, kasi uh, uh, to give you an info, uh, yung BQ University is part na ng world rank, nasa world rankings na siya as uh, as a uh, university na successful siya in terms of academics in terms of uh, delivery of instruction in terms of output of graduates pero kung sa na, do na sa world rankings na tayo part of world ranking na po yung Bicol University still marami pa po ang kakainin naming bigas so it's a figurative speech na still a long way to go para ma-reach namin yung nasa top 5, nasa top 3, uh, yung na school natin nasa World Rankings. Kasi uh, nasa ma I forgot kung naka ilang ilan uh, nasa 200 or 300 plus pa, pa, pa tayo. Uh, like sa ibang schools, uh, I think UP is oh, is part of World Rankings, yung Cebu uh, Technology uh, University, parang something like that eh. Nasa medyo malayo na sila. Um, in terms of success sa kanilang uh, success ng school. And one way para makilala yung school is yung inter in, in active involvement in the internationalization. And one mechanism there is to have an exchange student na pwede yung estudyante uh, mak makipag-exchange sa kapwa-estudyante sa ibang schools to learn uh, new cultures to collaborate, to uh, collaborate with the research, something like that. So, yan ang goal ng university. And not only exchange students, but also faculty. Maybe some, one of us will will be will uh, will be 
in um, in Hong Kong or in Singapore kasi isa isa yan sa mga nasa top 10 eh na world ranking na school na pwedeng makipag-collaborate sa research, pwedeng magturo ng 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 subject doon. So yan ang goal ng university. Tama yung sinabi ni Sir Mendez na um not just to develop a globally competitive graduate but also kaya natin makipagsabayan also as far as academics is concerned we can we can we can be of exchange students or faculty to learn new cultures to do to do learn new, new technologies and share what we acquired to to these uh, students or to to our classmates okay so um kasi hindi sapat na if you earn or obtain a four degree four degree year course uh, and sabihin graduate ka lang okay dapat yung pagiging graduate uh, 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 meron ka, meron kang uh, sab- masabi mo dapat na globally competitive ka in such a way na uh, yung uh, and we we have Filipinos naman eh who are successful abroad di ba And we have also graduates na na successful in their own career even though they're working in other parts of the country. Okay. So um uh, good thing na yung Bicol University hindi lang siya premier state university sa 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 ate sa Bicol sa sa ating region but also we are known uh ang Bicol University produce top notchers uh, produce passers sa uh, in a different field. Kilala tayo doon. Okay? So, that's one thing that we should be proud of. And marami, there are notable alumni, graduates, na na contribute sa success ng isang bansa, na produkto ng Bicol University. Okay? Sige. Um, how about um, ISO? Or of this po? May I know? Sino po ang nag-answer ng ISO? Huwag na pong mahiya. Ako po, Sir. Henry Bilista po, Sir. Ah, Sir, Sir Bilista po. Sige, Sir. Yes po. So, linagay ko po, Sir, na ISO gawa ng uh, Bicol University is a certificate holder of ISO. So, yung International Standard Organization po. So, as of now, kung hindi pa ako nagkakamali, is level 3 po yung Bicol University and apply for level 4. Yun lang po, Sir. Okay. Thank you, Sir Belista. For the information of everyone, um, maganda ang reputation ng isang agency. By the way, can you still hear me, class? Nawala ba yung audio ko? We can still hear you, po, Sir. Loud naman, Sir. Loud pa, Sir. Okay, po. So, well, kapag ISO accredited um, ang school mo or ang agency mo, it's a good reputation. Meaning to say, you pass the standards as far as quality is concerned in terms of enrollment, in terms of uh, process, in terms of, of of systems. Okay. But I don't, I don't want to be sarcastic, you know. Um, um, though, though, though I'm appellate sa... You know, hello, can you still hear me po? Though I'm appellate in Bicu University, I still see uh, problems. Tama po ba? Uh, I still experience the dilemma kagaya ng enrollment. Tama po ba? Dapat yung enrollment natin, pag-start ng classes, automatically yung sudyante naka-enroll na. Uh, we're still having problems with uh, with, the, with the process of paying, with the process of uh, including in the list. Na minsan, uh, yung mga sudyante hindi nakakapag-enroll because cut-off na. Hello, can you still hear me po? Yes, po. Yes, sir. Opo. Di ba kasi po, sir? Kasi di ba po, even kayo as a student, MA student, you experiences also the the problem na regarding sa enrollment, minsan offline yung system, pero how come that we pass the ISO? I don't want to be rude, I know, I don't want to be sound ruthless, but do I'm unhappy to be you. Meron meron ako nakikitang problema. Okay. So sana ma- hindi sana masabi kaming uh, certified kami as ISO. But in reality, 
as experience dapat at na yung mga yung mga standards ng ISO na achieve namin will impact hindi naman po talaga actually even sa sa ginagamit nating instructional delivery still nagkaka problema yung system uh, yung OR, ORS natin um, up to now uh, mayroon pa rin mga estudyante hindi pa nakakapag-enroll because may problema sa system uh, okay as 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 a concerned citizen sana as a faculty also sa BU sana uh, mag-invest uh, regarding sa IT infrastructure natin as far as security as far as the smooth flow of the system kasi yan po ang naging it's a recurring problem ng mga estudyante Tama po ba, sir, ma'am? I know you are... Yes, sir. Yes po? Tama po kayo, sir. Hmm. Definitely, sir. Kasi, di ba, ISO accredited tayo. Kung nakakaya naman po na still we are experiencing the same dilemma na yung enrollment natin, ganun pa rin. Dapat sana mabigyan ng um, concern ito. Kasi yung ibang estudyante, alimbawa, I know friends or my former students also na gusto sana nila mag-enroll sa klase ko. However, they can't access because they are having, they are having problem with the system. Even, 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 imagine na they are from Kamsur. Pupunta sila dito sa, sa registrar, sa bugs. Sabi daw ng bugs is, mag, i-access mo na yung, sa system ka na po mag-access. Kasi yan po ang, Uh, mode na ginagamit. Eh, yun nga ang problema eh. ba? Diba? Hindi ka makakapag-enroll pa rin kasi doon ka mag doon ka mag access So, sana hopefully ma-address na tong problem na to. Kasi kasi uh, uh, ito yung tinitingnan ng ISO eh, yung enrollment, yung uh, yung yung pag-input sa system ng mga enrolled students and pagbigay ng grades, 'di ba? And I know some of you are scholars. Uh, siguro way back when you were uh, undergrad, diba? or now, meron kayong inaabil na scholarship, and kailangan yung grade or COG ninyo. Diba? And, and I know, even, even I'm a, as I said, even I'm a faculty of Bicu University, is still, may, may, may mga kasamaan din po naman ako. Okay? Hindi ko naman po sinisirana, no? pero ito yung, kasi kahit paano, you don't need to be biased. Eh. Kailangan, mo, kailangan kasi balance na eh. Eh, nakikita din yung problema eh. Halimbawa, yung estudyante, kailangan niya sa scholarship, let's say sa sa CHED, di ba? Pero, there are faculty na up to now, hindi pa nagbibigay ng grade. So, how come they pass the ISO? Di ba? So, yun lang, just saying. Ito yung mga uh, mga irony, irony ng sinasabi natin, you are ISO acc- accredited, but in actual, hindi mo naman in-apply sa buhay. Kumbaga, yung ginagawa natin, parang it's our commitment to our students, to our clients. Not just sa papel lang. Okay? Who said, o ito, word class? Sino po nagsabing word class? May I know your thoughts about on this? Yes? Yes po, sir. Sige po. Uh, word class, sir, kasi yung in terms of uh, facilities and uh, yung teaching and yung mga uh, napaproduce na board passers. Mm-hmm. So meaning to say, world class kami? Yes. <laughs> Naniwala ka? Naniwala ka naman? Oh sir, kasi galing din po ako dyan. <laughs> okay. Alam, ay... Yes, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, siguro yung mga estudyante ko sa Busit before, they can they can say something about our status or risk score when it comes to facilities, when it comes to enrollment. I know the struggle of Ascucha, I know the struggle of Puromeo, Calleja when they were students, lalo na during the face to face. Lalo na pag madali na yung pasukan. Tama ba? Lab, Calleja, Delgado. Excuse yes ha? po sir. Yes diba? po sir. Ang daming pang babash or hanash sa busit last time regarding sa enrollment, regarding naman sa facilities, 'di ba? 
So, but still, I know naman, uh, though, though meron kaming mga lapses, it, it doesn't dictate or hindi naman nagre-represent yun sa school eh. Ay, matalito kasi galing to ng BU. Ikaw pa rin magdadala ng sarili mo. Diba? I'm not saying na, na sinisira ako yung school natin. Pero still, I admit, meron kaming mga, mga, may mga lapses kami, may mga loopholes kami. But we are trying our best. Diba? We are, we, are, we are doing our best to deliver you good quality of instruction, ma, ma, ma facilitate, ma-ice yung system. Kaya I, kaya I wonder, uh, siguro, uh, for some, parang magiging, ah, how come na world class? Ang enrollment ngayon, nag-abot pirang bulan, is that what you call world class? Pero well, anyway, I, I appreciate naman yung idea, yung, kasi, idea ni Sir Kim eh. Walang problema naman yan sa akin. Sa kanya, sa kanya eh. Ang sinasabi class uh, na pag sinabi mong BQ University, world class, pangaturugan man sa na po yan. Ang minimin ko po ha, baka sabihin nyo pangaturugan or ambition ba ko? Vision mi po yan. Okay. Kumbaga, so BU, we strive hard, we're doing our best na ma-attain in the future 100% na masabi na, na world class ang BQ University. Kasi yung sinasabi ni Kim is a vision. Pangaturugan. It's a dream. It's what we it's what it, it is what we are aiming for. Baka sa ma maintindihan ma, ng iba, ah, pag sinabing BU, world class yan eh. It's not like that. It is a vision. It is our dream or our goal na in the near future pag sinabi mo enrollment may ilaog ka lang na ilaog mo lang so records mo pag pagluwas enrolled ka na nakabayad ka na maklase ka na sana diba? so unlike now unlike uh, based on your experience you need, you need to undergo several process right sa pagbayad sa pag kumbaga sa pag um, Kahit, kahit ito kang timey, kahit paano yung pa magpapirma sa program advisor, sa mga araw kayo ni. So, talagang um, halo yung process. Okay? Sige. Um, another one, Torch of Knowledge. Who wrote this? Sige po. Ako po, sir. Sir, sorry po, hindi ko po umapin yung cam kasi medyo may problem ata yung camera ko. Oh, sige, so, ako po. Eh, ano ka lang? Um, for me, sir, sa logo, I noticed na yung center mm-hmm. is the torch of knowledge. Mm-hmm. So, for me, it is the heart. Kung baga po sa logo, it is the brand identity, for example. So, sa logo po ng BU, um, for me, it is the heart of BU, yung um, torch of knowledge and wisdom. It represents the, um, the BU, the students, and all the organizations po. Okay, tama. <laughs> Kasi si Miss Kalya is she is a BID student and siguro as an artist tinahin niya yung mga shapes, yung mga images na meron doon. Eh nakita niyo yung torch, di ba? Yung kumbaga sa linya ng sa kanta ng Biu Him, di ba? It's a burning torch of wisdom. Okay. Kailan ko kayo? Ah, uh, yung mga estudyante namin dito sa Busit before. Proud ba kayong proud BU niyo ba kayo? Ikaw, Pao. Proud BU ka? Proud BU student ka ba? Yes naman, sir. Sigurado ka? Sigurado Dahil ka? Lang, sir, Dahil ko lang, sir, Tom, so kanta. Wala, na, naulaan, Sophie. Naulaan, naulaan, so. Ang galing mo, bata. Actually, <laughs> kaya butong ta ka. Araw mo pa, so kanta kang BU him. Naulaan mo, so ibig kong sabi yun, ha? <laughs> Ah, sige, sige. So, dapat, aram ni Nong Biu him. Okay. Tapos, ito dyan, diba ka mukhang busit. So, yun man lang. Halimun tayo sa next slide. Okay. Uh, okay. Ito. Tagalog to ah. Kayang kaya. Chick, easy as eating man, mamon. Ano yun yung kayang kaya? Who wrote this one? Anyone? Who wrote po, kayang kaya? Ano bang ibig sabihin nito? 
ano, paimbestigan ko pa yun eh, kung siya nagsulat kayo yun eh. Anybody from the group, horot po, kayang-kaya. Hello, everyone. Habo magturo ka? Natakot na ata, sir. Eh, kung mga kabano hon, okay lang, you, you're entitled to your own opinion. Horot, kayang-kaya. Si say po, Miss Gabita, ikaw ba sumulat nito? Hindi po, sir. I-check ko daw. Siya nagsulat kayo ng kaya. Hello, sir. Yes, po. Sir, ano po iso question na po tulis kayo. Nawaran kaya ko, sir, ki Asignal. network. Okay. Gamit. Ano po iso question, sir? Sir, nasa next image po nakita. So, ang next image po is uh, the BU, BMGO po or Vision Mission. Nailing ko po dag di, may nagsulat ki kayang kaya. Kamu po kayo ni sir nagsulat? Ah, bako po, sir. <laughs> Saka, ang gig... Ang sir, so education po. Okay, sige sir. May I know your thoughts? Why did you say education po? Sige sir. Um, I choose sir yung education because po sir, ang BU is continuing, kasabi po dyan sir, so grow, continuing to develop an individual, bako lang po sir mentally, but also yung skill na nas nakakatabang po ni Marhay sa community na yun po ang kaipuan para po sa ikanamita. In the same time, yung BU din po, piga-upgrade din po yung education para po makatawag. Mas uh, mali ma- hanggat kung ano ang mas makakamaray, makakayang may itong education sa kadaklan po. Uh, yun lang po, sir. Okay. Thank you po. Okay. Kasi ang pagiging BU graduate po, not just only to Um, acquire such knowledge but also apply what you've learned. Diba? Um, kumbaga, the, the adjective that would that is suited for that is holistic. Diba? That, kumbaga, sa domains of learning, if you are, um, kap- diba, if, kapag ang subject is curriculum development, isa sa mga uh, activity to pinapagawa sa inyo is to come up with a learning outcome. I know most of you are nasa tertiary and isa sa mga guide uh, sa pag 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 uh, pag crop ki uh, ki object uh, ki objectives or learning outcomes is the three domains of learning, diba? If you can still remember sa context ng curriculum development, ang domains of learning ta may tatl- may tulong klase, diba? The context or the cognitive, yung skills or psychomotor yung affective or the character or attitude that the students will attain or acquire once he or she is through with the course. Yan pigi mini sir for me. Bako lang nag prada ka kang BU dapat uh, so nakotan mo sa BU sa alma mater mo i-apply mo siya. Kasi ang goal din sa BU is to produce leaders, 'di ba? Leaders in change agents, 'di ba? Sa based on the vision of Uh, ni President sa Bicol University. Kasi kita, uh, in the future, we will be leaders or we will be catalysts. When you say catalysts, we are, we are change agents. Change, change agents for the better of the society, for the betterment of the society or uh, to help us uh, to act, be actively involved in the community or of service din tayo sa atin. And tama yung sinabi ni Sir Romel uh, na Um, ang learning, di ba, is still a continuous process. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na tapos ka ng four-year course, alam mo na lahat. Diba? That's why some of you are pursuing their post-degree graduates, kagaya ng MEIA. Uh, in my case, even though I finished the, uh, the, the, uh, my PhD, still, I'm still wondering, uh, I'm, still, I'm still passionate and hungry to learn more na yung what I have learned or acquired, still, I would like to share generously to my students. Okay? So, yan, ganun pa rin. We continue learning. And another thing that Sir Romel cited is about uh, the personnel or the commu- BU community. Uh, me as, we as faculty are doing our best to undergo trainings, to to Uh, to develop instructions, instruction strategies na para ma- ma-satisfy namin yung mga yung needs ng aming students. Okay? 
That's why if we have blue folds, if we have uh, uh, may mga kulang kami, kaya good thing meron tayong evaluation. Kasi based on the student's feedback, it is our room for improvement. Kasi may mga faculty, tinitake it as seriously. Ah, mga studyante ko, ah, binagsak ako sa, <laughs> sa evaluation. So, ngayon na maabot na klase, pasakitan ko daw. Pag po ganyan ang mindset natin, ah, sometimes we, we should take it as a positive criticism. Pero I, uh, pero I know naman, there are students talaga na hindi natin maiwasan. Minsan, tinachamba din yung evaluation. Diba? Na minsan, for the sake na makapag-enroll, ay, minsan, porque napagalitan ang nasabihan lang ng estudyante, pinabawi na tayo sa evaluation. Diba? Kaya, alam naman natin. But for me, it's not the basis, uh, reliable basis na talagang talagang apod kayo ni effective ka or bao ka ni effective as a teacher. Okay? Sige. May sumagot ng last. May sumagot ng dream and aspiration. Sino po to? Anyone? Oh, but wala lang sumasagot. Okay. Uh, Miss Emeline, are you there po? Mr. Rason? Yes, sir. Good afternoon po. Yes, sir. Ano po yung sinagot mo sa picture 2? Wait lang, sir. Sige po. Yung nasa Jamboard, sir. Ay, Jamboard. <laughs> nasa Jamboard po, sir, no? Ay, no. Kakarating ko lang kasi, sir. Opo, wait lang. Let me check. Sige. By the way, class, while waiting to Miss Emily, ano, um, let me remind you that next Saturday we will not meet because I have two uh, uh, two groups or two candidates na mag, uh, th they will be having their title defense proposal and I'm one of the panel. And the dean is the advisor. So, nag-usap lang kami. Sabi ko, sir, uh, uh, I'll be giving activities. Okay? Huwag niyong kakalimutan na yung assignment ko. By the way, it, it's already posted sa ating classroom. Okay? The materials is already there. Um, can you read? And doon na lang po kayo mag-upload ng output ninyo. Okay po? So, while also um, doing the activity, siguro by this, uh, by this time, isipin nyo na. Pag-aralan nyo na kung anong gagawin ninyong um, project diba? sa requirement na to. So, sub, uh, as I've said, this course is outcomes-based po. Okay? It is application of what you've learned. But if you have, but for those new students who na wala pang idea about uh, the subject or yung sa, yung sa ating uh, um, topics, uh, feel free to consult po. Feel free to ask. Uh, uh, sabi ko, my lines are always open naman to address your concerns or queries. Ma'am Emeline, are you still there po? Nawala. Yes sir, yes sir. Nagahang ko si laptop ko. Ah, sige. Yung naalala mo lang. Ano na nga po yun sir? Yung sa vision mission ng BU, pag sinabing vision mi uh, vision ng BU, anong pumapasok sa isip mo? Anong nilag okay, anong nilagay mo lang doon? Ah. Ano po long term goal? Long term goal. Tingnan natin kung may long term goal. Wala. Pero sige, why did you say long term goal? Ano bang ano bang minimin mo nito? Miss Emeline? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait lang. When we say long-term goal po kasi, sir, parang um, kap, um, nag aral kami, tinuturoan nyo kami para mas ma-achieve pa po namin yung nilulook forward na ma-achieve po ng Bicol University. I don't know if I am making sense as of the moment, pero yun po. Mm-hmm. Sige. Um, Nakarating ko lang <laughs> Sige pa Miss Lab, Miss Borromeo Ano po yung sinagot mo? Oh, yung sa goal sir 
Ah, go. Sige. Pares pares din kay ni Kwan. Ay, how about you, Sir X Kutcha? What, what is your answer? Um, globalization. Sir. Okay. Sige. Why globalization? So, globalization, sir, kasi meron tayo yung ginagamit natin yung mission and vision parang as our guide. Mm-hmm. Guide to globalization or the world. One of the world that University. Okay, sige, sige. So, yung last, sige, para last na lang tayo, yung last picture natin, may pinakita ko sa yung mga uh, uh, equipment, mga machines. Ngayon, base sa mga sinagot ninyo, ano po ang nakalagay doon? Let me ask Ma'am Lusada, Ma'am Cheryl. For the, uh, before we uh, close the meet, uh, <laughs> po, ano po ang nilagay nyo, Ma'am, sa last picture? Yung sa mga... Ah! Sige po. Sa ano ba yun? <laughs> Last picture, nilagay ko sir, tools. Mm-hmm. Educational tools. Okay po. Can you please tell us ma'am, bakit yun po ang nilagay natin? Basically, when we say tools, those are the things we use to... Um, for the te- teaching and learning process, kaya nilagay ko po siya tools. Mm-hmm. Those are aids, aids for um, teaching and learning. Okay. Thank you, Ma'am Cheryl. Well said po. So, yung, yung nasa last picture po, um, sa madaling sabi, sabi ni Ma'am Cheryl, those are educational tools. Pag sinabing tools, this will serve as aids. Someone, something that will assist us or guide us to facilitate the teaching, learning process. So, yun ang gagawin ninyo sa course na to. ba? Diba? Magde-develop kayo, magkakamap kayo ng mga... I-clear ko lang ha, hindi po kayo dito mag i Hindi po kayo magpo-prototyping ha. It's up to you pa rin to decide. Ah, sabi ko sa inyo, uh, nag-start tayo medyo late na. Diba? Nag-start tayo February na. Here comes March, midterm, the following month. Uh, ba? Diba? Madali na, tapos naman yung, end naman yung SEM. So, our, as early as now, decide plan what will be your project para sa course na to diba? Binig, binigyan ko kayo ng guide apat na guide ito pang gagawin ko kaya ko ba to gawin diba? uh, ito, ito pang gagawin ko related ba sa tinuturo ko or what if I'm not into academe ano kaya yung pwede ko, ano kaya naalala ko when I was a student, na pwede ko siyang i-improve ng mga learning material or tool. Second, kaya ba ng oras ko? Take note, may mga faculty or teaching appointment kayo or faculty load. Diba? Iisipin nyo kung kailan nyo siya gagawin, what time are you available to work on that. Kasi, um, this course uh, requires independent learning. Hindi, hindi to kada meeting magle-lecture ako, magde-discuss ito kasi yung approach ko I, I, my students know this before hindi po ito spoon, food, spoon feeding you have to research you have to do your research and this project na gagawin nyo is a nitty gritty process mabusisi siya eh akala nyo paggawa ng module madali lang ah, hanap ako ng mga available sa, te- sa, sa test na hanap ako ng mga available sa sa DepEd, i-copy-paste ko lang, tapos na yung requirement. Don't worry po, may ginagamit akong tool. May, plag- may plagiarism checker ako. And malalaman ko din po, if your material is kinopya nyo ginawa. So, ang gagawin nyo po, dapat something novel, kaya dapat related sa course ninyo or sa subject na tinuturoan ninyo. Al- alam ko may ginawa na kayo diyang material. Kasi alam ko na incline naman kayo sa teaching and medyo matagal na din kayo nagtuturo ang iba sa atin. You can adapt that. Or it would be better is something na pwede nyo siyang gawing research. Okay. Third, uh, sabi ko, ka, um, if gagawa kayo ng um, bawa, i- i- instructional material, uh, i- uh, may, kumbaga may output, kaya ba ng budget ko? Kaya ba ng kaya ba ng uh, are the materials available? So these are the factors that you need to consider. Okay? Take note of the time allotted. 
and there are instances that we will not meet uh, just to give you ample time to work on your project or your or material that you are working on okay so yun yun ang aking mga requirements F pero uh, this this coming Saturday since di tayo mag meet um, yung pinapagawa ko sa inyong task regarding sa mga uh, instructional device material uh, ilagay nyo na po sa classroom i-post nyo na po doon diba and the other one is try to um, to research about teaching machines lima and then, i-discuss natin sa klase. So, uh, so by next next meeting, we'll be having a grade recitation. Okay po ba, class? Okay. So, before we end, is there any questions, clarifications, reaction? Pwedeng violent? Walang problema sa akin? Yes, Sir Junel? Sir, question lang po. Yung final um, by group or individual? Individual po. Yung group po na i-apply natin yung design thinking is just an activity to give you an idea kung ano paano ba ginagawa yung design thinking. Pero yung gagawin yung material, mas maganda sana anchored on design thinking. Okay. Para magets ninyo kung paano kayo nagka-come up, nagso-solve ng problem na mayroong proseso. Hindi kasi automatic ah ito yung gagawin natin. Pero later on you realize mali pala yung solution na ginawa ninyo. Naintindihan po? Sige. Thank you, Sir Junel. Who else? Are there some more questions? Wala na po? Hearing then po, let's...